Hello everybody and welcome back to some Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again and we get to play as YV. We unlocked him in the last episode. I'm super happy to play him. I really like YV and that's simply because he has faster fire rate. I think that's awesome. Also, does what? <laughs> I think YV gets money instead of reds. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a mod thing or if that's just how the game used to be. Mini? I got a lightning pistol this early on, but I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, whether that's a mod thing or like a previous version of the Nuclear Throne thing. I reckon it is a mod thing, but it's awesome. I really like that. <laughs> you watch, it'll be a thing in every version of the game and I've just never noticed it before somehow. But I like that. Yeah, this, this thing right here, very, very good early grab. I genuinely think also mini plasma gun as well. Probably not the best idea to, to take two different mini energy weapons but you know what i'm gonna try it out even that's a stack of cash okay that's definitely not normal i like this a lot this is interesting i don't know why i got two miniature versions of weapons but i like it i'm gonna take plutonium hunger because i feel like ammo is gonna be a problem with this guy or potentially and i'd like it to not be um so hopefully it's not gonna be too bad with plutonium hunger on of course as you can see the electricity it, it, it doesn't arc particularly where you want it to every time, so we've got to be a little careful. He did manage to get shot off on me there, but I was about to say he's going to die pretty darn quickly. And he very much did. So if we get, like, back muscle, I think that would be something that would be really helpful for this build. Obviously, if we could get, um, what's it called, uh, laser brain uh, for extra laser damage would be incredible. Oh, or I could just die. Damn. I really, really... Uh, gambled quite heavily there by running in. That, that's like some of the best weapons I've ever had early game. I don't know if that's a, a feature of YV or I just got really lucky because it's not normally. Normally robots the one that gets better gun drops but like I said in modding you never really know. There's so many changes and things that could possibly be different that yeah you just don't know. We'll go to the reverse floor here and uh, I quite like the reverse floors. They're generally pretty tough or at least I've found them to be. The, just just because some of the enemies are pretty brutal. Um, Frost. Let's modify our slug with Frost. I love these. These things are awesome. These are like one of the coolest additions to the game. Especially because stuff like this, like, it allows us to see new features like Frost a little more often, which is always nice. Um, I'm trying to pick up these rads here, but it's proving to be a little tough. Slugger just bashed that guy into the other one there. I'm not sure why we're getting crown vaults this early on but i suppose that's kind of an interesting idea that with these extra floors these reverse floors you can access maybe better weaponry but definitely crown vaults a little earlier than you'd otherwise be able to which is certainly an interesting idea projectile speed do you know what let's just stack this slugger let's just keep it going i don't know if there's like a limit to how many mods you can have on something but yeah, like, let's just stack this slug out. I don't know how much projectile speed it gives us, but it's seemingly a, at least around 20% or so by the looks of it. Seems like a decent amount. Oh, I'm loving Inverted Big Bandit here. I'm loving the, uh, oh, there's a freeze. Oh, dude. What? Oh my lord, Big Bandit, Inverted Big, Bang Big, Big Bandit is no joke, he does not mess around, although I will say, um, a, a change up to the early game difficulty is certainly a welcome change, I think that uh, the early game difficulty in this game, you can, you can die pretty easily to a lot of different things in this game, uh, vanilla is what I'm talking about, or even just the other mods that I was using that weren't ultra mod, um, yeah, you can die to various different things early game, but I think that generally the most people will agree. Early game's pretty damn easy. It, it's it's pretty much just uh, just a given that you're going to get, like, at least to uh, junk out on most runs. So I kind of like that there's a few things out there, a few optional ways that you can go that kind of challenge that a little bit. I think that's a good thing. Uh, also quite like this weapon. We can go with Brap. I'm gonna go with Brett. I don't. I don't really use YV's secondary fire all that much, so having a, a slightly more interesting reason to use it is good. I probably could have done with using it a little more in um, in that last run with the slugger. Honestly, that probably would have been a good idea. 
thinking about it now. But as I said, I'm really bad at actually utilizing the abilities on these characters. So I'll try and use it a little more, especially with something like this, uh, this weapon here, where it seems a little more valuable. We get sucked in. We carry on. Um, and, do you know, I'm going to take Plutonium Hunger again. I still think Plutonium Hunger is genuinely incredible. Uh, I, one thing I don't know if it does, I can't remember, but if it doesn't, it definitely should. It should let you um, pull rads and ammo through walls. That would be really nice. I don't I don't think it allows you to do that. That would be an ability that I'd find very, very useful. Let's see, Obsidian Throw Knife. Apparently, Obsidian Throw Knife is, like, really OP. Apparently, you can, like, two-shot some, some of the later game bosses. So, I will keep that. I also think that maybe it has something to do with a secret of some kind. You know, kind of like the screwdriver does. It might not. But I, I, I'm, I'm sure. I'm not actually 100%. But I'm fairly sure that there's probably some, some secret flaws that I haven't gained access to yet in this mod. Some, some that I haven't seen or heard about. So, I've kind of, like, got a few ideas of maybe how I could get, how I could get to a few of those. So, we'll maybe try and uh, figure that out. We got a slugger here. I think I'll go with the slugger. Yeah, I definitely should have been using. Um, I definitely should have been using it. Oh, the pizza doesn't drop health. So sad. The slugger with the secondary fire. It would have been very, very useful. Um, let's go with power craving. Power craving's real good. Good, good. Bouncing around at the speed of sound. I just love the fact that this can, like, push enemies into other enemies and do some serious damage. It's really funny. I love the fact that just knockback in general from bodies is something that impacts other enemies in this game. It's a really nice little feature. Dude, I, I shot... Dude, I shot you. I'm very annoyed. I shot that guy and the tires blocked it. I feel betrayed. Thanks, gun god. Does this have explosives on it? It does. It do. This shovel is literally explosive. Overhealed, nice. Yeah, by the way, someone pointed out with the overheal feature. I mentioned about it being somewhat overpowered in the last episode, I think it was. But actually, someone pointed out something really, really interesting, actually, quite... Something that makes a lot of sense. Um, that essentially, they're not overpowered, really, at all. Because you can only overheal via HP that, um, that only spawns if you need HP. So it's not like your HP drops all the time. Spiral your yo gun. We'll take that. Um, I want to keep the Ocidium Knife and try that out. Um, yeah, you only get health when you need health, which means that it's very hard to overheal on purpose because you, you don't get HP drops when you're at full HP. No, thank you. We'll go with the bear head. Eww. I do quite like the yo-yo weapons. They're a little ammo consuming, most certainly. But I think we can handle it if I don't die. Okay, I made a mistake there. Uh, we need another weapon pretty pretty quick. This thing has minus two ammo. Wait, what? The obsidian knife fires your weapon when you throw it. If that works for every weapon, that's insane. I seem to have thrown the obsidian knife in a rather promiscuous spot here. L literally, it two shot him. It actually two shot him. My lord. Okay. Intriguing. I can work with this weaponry, most certainly. Most certainly I can. I like the looks of this. I still don't, don't really know what the green border means around anything. Uh, let's take Rabbit's foot. Not a great area for the weaponry we have right now. I might die. I'll almost certainly die. <laughs> I, I don't have the ammo or weaponry to really do this. But 
Honestly, obsidian throwing knife doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Damn you. Dead glove. Gimme. Don't charge into these guys this time. We made that mistake last time. Not a good mistake to make. Yeah, do you know what? The obsidian throwing knife is going well for us right now. Um, I think we'll go with Rage. We'll just see how that goes later on. Lots of cards around here. The gloves are pretty awesome, i got to say. Bouncer laser rifle. That is cursed. I'll take it. I'll take it. Whoa. That's cool. It's cursed, but I like it. It also came with shock on it, I think. Yeah, they both came with shock on them. I just got to make sure I accidentally punch a car. I feel like that's a, a solid way to die. Accidentally punching a car. All the way down here. Wow. Quite the distance. I don't know if punching Little Hunt is going to work, but you know for a fact I'm going to try it if I can. Punching Little Hunter sounds like the most satisfying thing in existence. I love that bouncer. That's so cool. Here he is. It works. I did it. <laughs> it was a terrible idea, but I did it. You can't blame me for trying. I had to do it. It was satisfying, all right? Mini lightning pistol again. Nice. This time we can maybe build on it a little bit. That'd be good. That guy did fire quite a lot on me there. Hit me once, but we're good. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Trigger fingers. Always good. Glass arm cannon. Intriguing. Uh, second stomach. Power. Now, nah, let's take an early power craving. An early power craving could be incredible. I just like the, the modification system. I think having that as an amplified feature of our runs with power craving is always going to be fun. So we should take Slugger knowing that. And we've got um, Explosive Death. I don't know if it's on hit or just... I think it's just on kill. We get a small explosion. What? Oh, I didn't think that Scorpion would do that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I did not think the Scorpion would uh, encroach so, so closely into my personal space. At least we don't have to deal with mini Scorpions anymore. Mini Scorpions from um, Explor Ex the Territorial Expansion mod have been something that has plagued me for quite some time. As you can see, I'm playing way too risky right now, but it's fine. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's just go. We, we, we've been playing unsafe. Let's go Rhino Skin this time. Take a little bit of a safety option with Rhino Skin. It's not going to save us from everything, but it is a significant amount of more HP. Hop Gun will take it. I don't think we got an... Oh, I was just about to say, I don't think we got a weapon mod with this one. Of course we didn't, because we don't have that mute anymore, you fool. That was last run. Grab some tea. No, thank you. Um, director Grenade Launcher. Apparently, there's something you can do with Director Weapons that I, I need to go and read a comment to remember. I will go and do so in just a second. There's definitely some additional functionality to them that I forgot about. Right, let me go and take a little look. One second. Da, 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 da. YouTube. I think it was the last video I posted. Hello. Oh, apology for my own voice there. It was either this one or the other one. Um. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think it must have been the one after that. The most recent episode. I apologize for this, people. Whoa, what the hell? Um. Intriguing? It's. I'm very confused. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Let me, ignore, ignore my ramblings right now. 
One second. Uh, director weapons. Du -du 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 -du. I'm not seeing anything about it right now. Maybe I... Oh, uh, no, there you go. You can double tap director guns to make them retarget and speed up the shots. Ooh. Thank you. Yeah, I was, I was really confused because um, YouTube has automatically split up all, like, my video into loads of different segments. I don't even know how it's done that. When I've uploaded it, it's like split everything up into its own segment. I don't know how to describe it, but it's very confusing. I, I, it shouldn't be like that. I don't know why. So let's let's give this a go. Director grenade launcher. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, 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 okay. I understand now. So essentially, while the projectile is in the air, shotgun, I can do that to like give it a little bit of a boost. Obviously, the grenade launcher isn't exactly the best example of that. But, certainly a unique bit of functionality that I quite like. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. <laughs> so we get quite a bit more range on our projectiles here. I like that. And being able to redirect them is also quite nice. Looking for the, uh, there it is. Shotgun again. Thank you. Into the pizza sewers we go. Bap. Da -da 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 -da. Assault rifle. Wow, we uh, we we got a lot of stuff there. Um, all kinds of sal saliva sounds good. I really like this. Almost killed myself with it, but you know. I've got a lot of ammo on that. We'll swap it out for the Assault Slugger. Hey, we got a Reverse Floor as well. Let's go. I love the palette change. It just, it look, like, they don't... They, they didn't literally just make the colours negative. But that guy stole my ammo. Cheeky bugger. I don't know who's going to do that. But yeah, they didn't, they didn't just, like, like just straight up reverse the colour palette. But it still looks kind of like photo-negative. It's really cool. They, they did a really good job with this. I saved it. I don't know how many people actually worked on this mod. I know one of the people. But I don't know who else worked on it. There's a lot of shots going on right now. It's kind of crazy. It's like every, like, every enemy on these floors feels like an absolute boss fight. Like, there's so many projectiles on the screen, it's great. I definitely need a better primary. My primary is letting me down a little bit here. Segway man again. Weapon drop. The Eraser. I kind of wish I'd have picked the Eraser slightly earlier now. Because I just modified the slug, the assault slugger, and I think the erase is better, personally. Bouncer. That is potentially incredibly good with a razor. Yeah, I like that. Oh wait, it just—I think. Ah, I think what it actually does is it just fires. A bouncer shot on killing an enemy. That's even better. I got hit by a, a missile there. Yeah, the eraser's is doing good for us. Yo-yo gun. Ah, it's just basic yo-yo. Although, we do need a different weapon type, so I'll take it anyways. Dead glove. I kill myself too much with that thing. I'm untrusted with it. Dude, can you not fly to the other side of the wall the moment I reach you, please? It's very annoying. We made it through.
Okay, remember we got things sleeping right now. Bazooka's a pretty good grab. I, I was really kind of... <laughs> I was both thinking I was going to instantly kill myself with it there after saying it was a good grab. And also going to be really scared if that did actually happen. I don't want to end this run. You're the last fella alive, are you? Beautiful. Liking the setup we got going on so far. Okay, let's take Rabbit's Paw again. Got some sleepers going on. Mini Plasma Rifle. Yep, I like that. I like these mini weapons. The mini weapons are very cool. Quadruple flame shotgun. That is that is also pretty cool. I don't think we can take it because the ammo consumption would be far too high for us right now. But that is a very cool looking weapon. First there was mini. Then there was quadruple. That guy managed to get a saw blade in there. Dude, the saw blade guys are nowhere near as annoying as the ones from um, uh, Territorial Expansion. The ones in that mod are awful. They're, they're horrible. They just insta-kill you because they fire off a normal saw blade. It's not like a modified projectile. It's just evil. Guns that make breakfast. I like the idea of that. I like the idea of that a lot. This thing's, like, interesting. It is a bit weak, though. I will definitely say that. It's a little weak. Got a little hunter in the his house. I think he should die pretty quick. We could... I just want to say we could also die to him pretty quick, but that, that thing that makes the first hit we take of every stage not count, I think we've got that right now, right? Seems to be working really well. So I, I took damage there, but I'm still at full health. I'm, I'm assuming that's what caused it. Frost Assault Rifle. Yeah, maybe. I'm kind of more inclined to stick with what we got right now, though. Okay, this is where this thing's going to be a little more on the nose. Bullet Disperser Gun. Do you know what? No, this is... This is my jam. I like to disperse bullets. Hey, we got a little bit of overhealing there, too. Ooh, these guys sleep upon spawning in, too. That's interesting. I didn't think the police would sleep upon spawning in. But they do, and I like that. Good, good. Sadly, can't get to the weapons crate, but that's okay. Do, 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 do. Um... Higher rate of fire is... Oh. Sharp teeth and stress got made into one. Yeah, do you know what? Give it a go. I don't know what I picked up here, but it seems good. It was the line grenade. Seems pretty intriguing. Whoa. That's quite the large line. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I'll uh, I'll stick with the old the good old line grenade. Seems interesting. Seems fun. Seems like I could kill myself with it, but neither here nor there. Look at that, bad boy. This thing seems insane. <laughs> Like, actually insane. It covers so much distance. And it, it, it genuinely seems kind of hard to kill myself with it, too. The explosion's like a perfect distance away from me. I might be, I might come to regret saying that, but... But right now, I'm pretty happy with saying it. I was gonna fire work. Oh, it does hurt you, okay. I had to check. doesn't even use, like, that much ammo.
Got him. Thick skin. The Alice in Wonderland claws. Snowblower. Triple Electra gun. Nah. Line grenade. It's all about the line grenade. I love the fact that the police spawn in asleep. <laughs> it's so funny. It's, it's like it's like the uh, the boss just was like, guys, guys, it's go time, it's go time. Just teleport, teleport them in, and didn't actually check if they were all awake. <laughs> um, power cravings a little less useful now. Let's go with gamma guts. This is one of my favorite negative flaws because it looks normal now that it's negative. Let's go with weapon drop on this. Why not? Getting a decent amount of kills with a heavy minigun. That also sounds pretty awesome. I'm a little, I'm a little afraid of the flaws that we're on at the minute. Oh, I'd love to check what that is. God damn it. You sucked me in. Too much suck. Flame Director Eraser. Yes. Splinter Blade Gun. Whoa. Hyper Heavy Slugger. I'm going to go with a Flame Director Eraser. That sounds awesome. With a speed up shot on the, uh, on the Eraser from the director weapons. I like that. Also, I think Line Gun is going to demolish this fool. The amount of screen share. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he is dead. Um, I think Trigger Fingers is going to be good here. It is the dawn of line grenades. What we got here? Flame wave gun. Cool. Fat machine gun. Nice. Yeah, this thing's overpowered. I love it. I'm loving the fact that we got gamma guts too. I will tell you that for nothing. Mate, did that thing actually hit me? I like this too. I like this too. Health is not great right now. Splinter or Splinter? I think I'm going to take Splinter. No crown atop my head, please. I would like some health. I like the way that maggot was asleep here, it still was able to kill me. Or try to kill me, try to. Okay. There's some big bandits about. I don't even know what just happened there. I reached level ultra and it seemed to kill quite a lot of things. What is. Dude! Dude, this guy with the axe is getting too close for comfort right now. What on earth just happened? <laughs> right, so we got higher rate of fire, um, free pop pop upgrade, really, um, really high shotgun fire rate, uses um, used shotgun ammo converts to bullet ammo. What? 
Right click sometimes also fires your secondary weapon. That sounds awesome. Ooh, also, I forgot about this. Hell yes. Right. Righty-ho. We unlocked a lot of golden weapons here. Excuse me. It is not time for the police. Whoa. A lot of weapons just got sucked up there. The super lance. That is quite the lance. The termite gun. They seem horrific. Um, the trident. Ghost shovel. Whoa! I think we might want to keep this ghost shovel here. Hyper lightning launcher is what we already had, I think. The missile launcher. That's a lot of missiles. Um, the ion teleporter. Ooh, that's like a punch gun. Auto flare shotgun. Also seems pretty good. Split blade gun. The dimension generator. I think keeping that in that. Wait. Oh, that's explosive ammo too. I was going to keep that in my back pocket. Maybe not. Big missile launcher. Let's carry the ghost shovel with us. We've got our line gun. Nice. A lot of weapons here. Big assassin. Also, ghost shovel's pretty good. Get away, big assassin. I don't currently see you. You're masked in the explosions. I think it's dead. Right, what we got over here? Golden SMG. The Explosive Morpho Ray. The Explosive Morpho Ray again. The Infinity Machine Gun. The Spiral Slash Director Shotgun. Hyper Heavy Slugger. The Moochass. I like that, and I think I'm going to keep it. Specifically because with our right click we could end up firing that by accident and I like the idea of that. I want to see it happen. Okay, didn't mean to go through here but we're through here now. Explosive. I mean, it's already quite explosive, but I will take it. Line grenade is best boy. It still hasn't fired it yet, which is slightly disappointing. I was really hoping I'd get it at least once or twice here, but maybe it's because of the ammo count. Maybe the ammo is an issue. Not taken care of. Wait, what? Where's the portal? Oh, there it is. The body just flung quite far. The body was flung. Oh, look, it's Hyper Crystal. Dev. Super yo yo gun. Try it out with a bullet disperser gun. That works. Okay, that works with the line gun the other way around. Therefore, it is it is my gem. 
I think this thing could be quite good. Yeah. With this thing triggering the line gun sometimes. Not every time, but often enough for it to be good. Oh, I see. Okay, so for some reason, I was under the assumption it didn't use ammo when it did that. It most certainly does. I have found myself in a predicament where I have no ammo. I'm probably dead. <laughs> There's a, a, a pretty decent chance I die here. I need a weapon or ammo right now. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. This thing does not do a lot of damage. Ah, there was a health kit there as well. Hyper Blood Launcher. It's again an explosive ammo though. Radiation. Swarm. Just decking out this thing with as many mods as I can. Line Grenade. My sweet, my dear. It's so beautiful. It's Little Hunter here. I didn't manage to get ammo. You tyrant. Yeah, Little Hunter always brings doom and just terribleness to everything that he is and chooses to be. I hate him and everything that he just, yeah, he's awful. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.